To say that the global situation for sharks is critical would be an understatement. For some species, extinction could be imminent. Shark fisheries in many of the world's oceans are not sustainable. We are taking them out faster than they can reproduce. What's happening to sharks may be the fastest, most sustained killing of any group of animals yet. So you think they're landing a thousand sharks a day in Spain? It really is time this was illegal. Who's buying them? Where are they going after that? Who's the next link in the chain? Well, it's traditional at Chinese weddings to serve shark's fin soup because it does mark a sign of prestigiousness. If you look at a restaurant in Singapore or in Hong Kong, talking about a thousand sharks or more in a month from one restaurant. The shark fin trade is a truly global business. The shark, the wing, and the go, Hong Kong, and China. If there's a demand, there's always been a supply. There's no other way about it. There's no polite way to talk about it. Every one in six people in the world is a Chinese. The demand for shark fins may be in Asia, but the supply is coming from all over the world. You hear figures of 100 million sharks a year being killed, 40 million sharks a year being killed. It really doesn't matter which figure it is, it's too much. Uh, this is shark fins. How much are they? Do you know where these come from? They come from Hong Kong. They are the most extraordinary, awesome animals. But they're also important to me as a marine ecologist because they are necessary if we're to keep our marine ecosystems ticking over. If we turn the oceans into deserts, the consequences for us would be absolutely dire, simply unthinkable. We have to understand that oceans are complex ecosystems and within those ecosystems, the sharks, as top predators, play an extraordinarily important role. thing that every country in the world is part of the, of the problem and it could all be part of the solution as well. <laughs>